I'm Sydney and welcome back to my Flock and Squawk. Today I'm going to be reviewing a recipe from King Arthur Flour for sourdough bread made in a bread maker. So if you read over on my blog yesterday, I talked about how I kind of went a little wild on Amazon Prime Day and bought something that I've been very interested in getting for a while now, and that is a bread maker. So I tested it out, over, and you can read about that, my first impressions for making the recipe for the bread out of the instruction booklet. But today I decided to take my sourdough starter that I, it kind of lives in the fridge, but I took it out earlier this week. I fed it, and so earlier today I made the bread. I'll insert the footage here, and... Here is what my loaf looks like. It's been cooling on the counter for probably half an hour. I put it on a rack. As you can see, it's very light in color, but got a tiny little hole in the bottom from where the blade slid out. But overall, it's very light. I followed the instructions on how to adjust for homemade bread, but we are going to cut into it and I will show you what it looks like on the inside. I haven't cut into it as you saw. I'm gonna cut into it, have a slice, try it on its own, see if it needs any improvement, if the texture is all right. So let's just switch up the camera angle and we'll get into it.
So as you can see, it looks like it has a pretty good texture. Nice airy little bubbles everywhere. Pretty evenly distributed. No big holes so far. So I'm going to cut it in half. It does have a little bit of a sour scent, but that's to be expected because it is sourdough. The crust is really light, but my bread maker has three settings for how dark you want the crust, and I just went with medium. So next time I'd probably try dark. So. Wow. So my sourdough starter must have been rather sour because you definitely get quite a bit of sourdough taste. Yeah, it's not like super mild sourdough. Like grocery store sourdough, I feel like, tends to be more mild. This is like a stronger sourdough, sour taste. And other than the crust being so light, it does have a nice little crispiness of like that difference in texture for the crust, but it's not like a crazy thick, dense crust. It, you know, it's in the nice, easy, chewable crust. So, okay. Good. Radar came to join us. Hi, little Miss Kitten. You wanna sniff the piece of bread? So Radar sniffed the piece. She's not interested in actually trying it, I don't think. Yep, not interested in trying it. Radar, down! You know you're not supposed to do that. Radar, down! So as for sourdough bread, I'd say this is definitely a more sandwich loaf. I would, if you can, set your bread maker to have a darker outer crust, because this is very light. But for texture and everything, I feel like it's an A+. For ease, 10 out of 10. Everything about it, especially the fact that using a bread maker is so simple, I'd say give it at least a shot if you have a bread maker and you have an interest in sourdough bread, especially sandwichy sourdough bread. And it looks like it's baked perfectly through even. So give it a shot and let me know what you think. <laughs>